Hello, hello. It's been a while, hasn't it? I hope you've all had a lovely villalous couple of weeks. I was in Bulgaria for a few days last week, having a bit of a relaxing time, a bit of a detox from football. But I miss the villa, and I'm buzzing that we're back tonight. Straight back to the FA Cup then, with 6,000 villa fans making the trip down on this Friday night to Chelsea. That is incredible support, by the way. The rate in which the tickets sold, 6,000 on a Friday night. The game isn't on TV, and it was expensive as well, by the way. £38 a ticket, London prices. And it's not the easiest draw either. Chelsea only losing one game at Stamford Bridge since we beat them there back in September. That's not bad. And on the Villa side of things, you've got Dendon Cruz off to Napoli. Kane Kessler Hayden, who's coming back from his loan from Plymouth. Kamara and his partner having a baby this week. All the noise that surrounds John Duran. Paul Torres is still injured. So, it feels like there's a lot going on and a lot to think about for Unai Emery. We've got plenty of big games on the horizon as well. No sooner than Newcastle United coming to Villa Park on Tuesday night. But anyway, one game at a time and one competition at a time. And if you've watched more than five seconds of this channel, you'll know my feelings on the FA Cup. I absolutely love it and I would love to win it, so I'm absolutely buzzing for this one tonight. Well, I'll tell you what, what a day for some football. Blue skies, can't complain at all. Just a quick plug before we do get on the coach. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel. We are very, very close to 60,000 subscribers, so any help towards that would be absolutely amazing. Please leave a like on the video as well. If we can go big and hit 2,000 likes today, that'll be amazing. Anyway, time now is about half past one. About to get on the coach to London. Up the villa, boys. London traffic, never change. It's gonna take us half an hour to do two miles. The state of it. So, just arrived in London. Bloody hell, the traffic is absolutely wild. I think the time now is just gone half past four. Have a couple of beers. We're in about the Fulham area, so the Fulham grounds that way. Head to Stamford Bridge on the tube. There's no Simon today, there's no Jamie, there's no Owen, so I've drafted in the Villa on Tour Reserves in Jamie Thanks. Brown. You're going travelling in a couple of days, mate, so yep. it's the last time we'll see you. Yep. Chelsea away, what are we feeling today, son? Yeah, a bit confident. Uh, we haven't played a match in a couple of weeks now, so I'll be a bit rested. Chelsea only played a few days ago as well, so... Can I get a score prediction nice and early, please? I'm going to go 2-1 Villa today. Mm. Nice. Confident, yeah. Next one. round of the FA Cup. Absolutely, yeah. Right then, walking to the tube station. Lovely bridge just by Fulham here. That's where we just were in the pub over there. But very, very nice. You won't be able to see a lot. But the river by uh, Fulham Way, it's not too bad, is it? Right, Putney Bridge Station. Let's get to Stamford Bridge. The team news is looking decent. Louise Kamara and uh, Tielemans and Phil Jack. Villa on tour debut. Strong that is, isn't it, mate? Yeah, fantastic. I think 2 0 win. 2 0, clean sheets. Yeah. Even though we don't have time, it's quite confident. Don't normally go in this way because we've got 6,000 today rather than 3,000, so going to the normal home end, I think. Decent. Nearly, mate, nearly, nearly, nearly. <laughs> right then, Connor, score prediction, son. So not the villa. Not the villa. So technically we're in the home end here, the normal home end. The away end is all the way over there. We're in the normal home end. Decent view. Lovely to see. Oh, look who I've run into, Simon Lyons. Hello. What do you reckon today? Some strong team, by the way. Yeah, it is, yeah. To be fair, I don't think we could go any weaker than what we have anyway. Like, we've got so many players out, but tough game tonight, though. Chelsea yeah. format, mate. I've got to predict a win, haven't I? Like, yes. I don't want to replay. Don't be negative. I don't want to replay. I don't want to be negative. So, it's going to be 2-1 Villa. 2-1 Villa. We, are we going to win the FA Cup? Because if we win this, by the way, Tottenham, Man City tonight, one of them will go out. It opens up. All of a sudden, it opens up. Well, as I say, every year, this is our year. So. <laughs> Yes, we are. It's going to happen. Oh my word, it's a light show. The trend of 2024. A light show. This is horrible.
game does kick off, a quick message from this video sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark is a virtual private network which gives you a whole host of amazing benefits. This Chelsea game now isn't on TV anywhere in the UK, despite it being moved to a Friday night, but that's a whole different issue. Surfshark allows you to change the virtual location of your device, whether that's your phone, laptop, or even smart TV, so that it appears like it's in a completely different country, making watching Villa games a whole lot more accessible and cheaper as well. And on the flip side of that, when you're abroad, you can change the virtual location of your device back to the UK. So for example, I was in Bulgaria last week and randomly I wanted to watch the highlights of Sheffield United versus West Ham because there were late goals and there were red cards. I just wanted to watch the highlights. And the highlights from Sky were just completely blocked from me on YouTube so I couldn't see it anywhere. But Surfshark allowed me to change my location back to the UK and I was watching those highlights with no problems. Also with the VPN, it allows you to stay super safe and secure and private whilst you're on the internet. Whether that's keeping all your data private whilst you're on public Wi-Fi or stopping phishing attempts from hackers or them really annoying ads that just pop up when you're trying to read an article, for example. You all know the ones I mean. Really annoying. So if that sounds good to you, I've got an exclusive deal for you. Use my code VILLARONTOUR to get up to six additional months for free. And it helps support the channel as well. So use that link in the description. Go and check out Surfshark. <laughs> Checking it, obviously. Here we go. You know the drill. They're checking handball. <laughs> well in, Martinez. Well in, Martinez. What a save. He's only played one game. One game. He's only played one game. Chance right at the end of the first half. It's been all Chelsea. Tillemans with a so chance. Well. <laughs> Villa haven't had a lot of the ball. It's been a lot of Chelsea, but they haven't got the end product. It's not been the greatest first half, has it, mate? Yeah, a bit of a weird one. I thought we started brightly. First ten were really good. Obviously, the, the disallowed goal. Only yeah. one had a great chance. Martinez probably kept it in with yes. a couple of great saves. And yeah, I think Moreno struggled a little bit down this side of London. Imagine Wakai's had a lot of the ball, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah, it's one of them at the moment. I mean, Chelsea, you know, we, we know what Chelsea are. They don't, they don't, they don't put a lot. They're not clinical, but we haven't been clinical either, so that's where we are. It doesn't look like they've got a, an out and out striker. It's Cole Palmer, it's Imagine Wakai, it's Gallagher. They haven't got an out and out striker, and if they did, they might have a chance, but they just can't finish their dinner. They're, they've had a lot of the ball. They can't do anything with it, really, can they? Yeah, exactly, exactly. The things that they have. And we've essentially given given to them essentially like long lays pass out in defence and you know we give we give them with an opportunity but we've got to look after the ball better ourselves. So when, when we do have the ball, we've been giving away far too often. So we need a bit more control but but positives is it's still nil nil. from the Villa boys. Oh, Watkins, man. Cash. What a save. What a save. It's a great save. It's an unbelievable save. Fair play, Cash. Come on, Villa. Here we go. Deliver Cashy, boy. Yeah. It's coming! In 1982, the Venom boys from Aston! Hello? Oh! Nice! Oh! One green bastard! There's only one green bastard! The 
just saying a draw is probably a fair result. We were better second half, created a couple of things. Replay awaits Villa, back at Villa Park. <laughs> So you're telling me that Unai Emery hadn't had a nil-nil draw in his whole career in England and then he's had two on the bounce? What's that about? I'm in a fine old shirt, by the way, in case you're wondering what I'm wearing. Do you know what I thought last night was probably a fair reflection of the game? A draw was probably fair. Is it ideal because of the replay, going back to Villa Park, it's more fixtures? Probably not. And on the face of it, it doesn't look great, but we've had a fairly free look in January, so, and obviously we've just had two weeks off, so the players, although they didn't really look it last night, should be feeling pretty fresh. I think you can look at it in, in sort of two ways. Obviously, Chelsea had played like three or four days before, so yes, you can say they might have been more tired, but they also might have been that little bit sharper, and that's the way it looked last night. I don't think the first half was great. We had a couple of really good chances, actually, with Watkins and Tielemans, but we were much better second half. We had a lot more of the ball, a lot more control. Chelsea didn't really create anything. And and you'll see from this video, it was chance after chance after chance. Okay, some of them were half chances. The keeper had to make maybe two or three actual saves. But it was promising. Again, I think it was one of them days. And the positive is, of course, the main positive that we are still in the hats for the fifth round of the FA Cup. But now all attention turns to Newcastle on Tuesday. Back in the Premier League, a massive, massive game as well and a real test of where we're at. But before we get there, please do let me know your thoughts on the game last night against Chelsea. Get involved in the comments. Please do smash a like as well. I know it's not the most interesting video, when Villa draw nil-nil. But please do still smash a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated. Please do subscribe as well if you haven't already. And I shall catch you on Tuesday back at Villa Park. It feels like ages since we've been there, by the way. Absolutely buzzing for that one. I'll see you then. Up the Villa.